Hello everyone, in today's video we are going to learn how to export an H.265 file with the help of and without the help of After Effects. Now you may ask why I need H.265 file because it's the latest version of compression which comes after MP4 file. Now uh, in one experiment I did, I reduced the file size from 300 MB to only 15 MB and I wanted to embed that into a presentation. Now imagine embedding a 300 MB file versus a 15 MB file. So this is a huge difference uh, that can be felt between MP4 file and S265 file. Now, uh, if we have a composition in After Effects, our steps are going to be the same. We are going to go into File, Export, Add to Adobe Media Encoder Q. If you have Media Encoder installed, a new window will open and you would have your entry here. Uh, if you have anything else here, you are going to come down here and select H265. Just in case, if you don't see this option, you can always go to Google and search for KLight Pack. Pack. So it's uh, one of the very old uh, and um, very comprehensive uh, pack of codex compression decompression. Uh, if you don't have um, uh, this option here, it can show you several options. So install that and make sure you are on H265 option. Rest of the things are same. Let's click on this. Now we have another window uh, which has all the export settings and we are going to scroll down. Here we have bitrate encoding settings. We have two uh, profiles for uh, setting bitrates, a, co a constant bitrate and variable bitrate. And now it is also explaining constant bitrate will add the bitrates regardless of the requirement of scene and variable bitrate is the more smart way it, it is going to analyze the scene and if it requires more data it's going to give it more data as per the limit you set now after all we are happy with it, all the settings uh, we are going to press ok and we are going to press play button to encode that now this is the way with after effects and adobe media encoder if you don't want uh, or don't have adobe media encoder and after effects you can also use another free software which is called handbrake so so let's drag and drop the file that we want for example this file it's going to analyze that now what it's saying it's summarizing the whole thing mp4 format okay we are good with that let's come down to um, video tab and here we have video select selected s264 no, we don't want H.264, we want H.265. Now, here uh, there are two settings, constant frame rate and peak frame rate. So, um, both will work, but if you are uh, exporting for editing, which is not uh, ideal format, but you can always select constant frame rates and peak frame rates. From here, you can select the frame rates you desire, but make sure the video is also in that frame rate. Now, the most important thing that we can tweak here is the uh, quality so here is a slider which can uh, give you an over overview of the quality higher quality means sl slower processing lower quality means uh, faster processing but we can also add an average bitrate for example i want to give it 4 mb per second now this is going to be a two pass encoding and it's going to realize it going to analyze uh, what scenes are important uh, in the first past and then going to encode in the second pass here is the output uh, path and we are going to press on start encode and it's going to start encoding. So these are two ways that you can export your file in H.265 format. If you are um, constrained on space, it can reduce the quality, it can reduce the space very much without compromising on the quality. Thank you for watching.